Okay, so I want to talk about the cause of obesity. A cause of obesity, you've heard this a million times if you've heard it once. Obesity is not complicated. Obesity is simple. Calories in, calories out. Calories in, calories out. Obesity is not complex. Therefore, the solution to obesity is very simple. Eat less, exercise more. Simple. Okay, now, if I tell you as a heavy person that that's the solution and you don't follow it, you're bad. You're the weak link in the chain. You're the problem. If it's that simple, it's it, calories in and calories out. And I tell you, eat less and exercise more, and you don't, you're stupid. You're lazy. You're a sinner. You're a glutton. Mama didn't like you best growing up. She had not enough love for you, and so you eat pie to replace the lost love that mother didn't give you in second grade when she didn't buy you a pony. And if you'll come and see me every week for half an hour, we'll talk about the lost love of your mother and get you over that psychiatric illness, and then you can get back to the truth, which is eat less and exercise more. Heard that one? Yeah. Okay. All right. Why is it then, if that's if those are right, why is it everybody's all these people are heavy? Why is it that diet and exercise and counseling and antidepressants and things like that don't work? Okay. Stop for a second. Put that all aside, and I want to turn your attention to your breathing. Okay. Right now, the brain stem of your body is connected to the drive to breathe. And right now, without you thinking about it, with no intellectual contribution at all, you're breathing. Not too fast, not too slow. You're just breathing. Now, with using your powerful mind, using your intelligence and your wisdom and your knowledge and your background, I want you to breathe less. Got a chance of that happening? Anybody have kids? <laughs> I want a GI Joe or I'm not going to breathe. <laughs> Write to me when you get over that, son. Right? In other words, your brain, as powerful, as knowledgeable, as many articles on breathing less as you read, you have zero chance of controlling your breathing. More than a few seconds. You can control your breathing for a minute or two. How long did David Blaine hold his breath, the, the knucklehead uh, magician? Okay. You have no chance of controlling your breathing for an hour, for two hours, for a day. Okay? Now, what if I told you we found the same control system for your diet? There is inside of you, just as there is a control system that controls your breathing, there's a control system for how much you eat. Rats, bats, cats, mice, mosquitoes, they all have the same control system. There's a hormone like insulin called ghrelin that makes you hungry, comes out of your stomach. And there's a hormone called peptide YY that comes out of the bottom of the small bowel and it makes you feel full. Just like the accelerator and the brake on your car. Except, like the breathing system, it's out of your control. It's out of your control. It is not in your control. Stop breathing. That's about as likely to succeed as saying stop eating. Now, I don't want to tell you this. I would like to be able to just use my powerful intellect to control my weight. Now, there are situations where we can get you to lose weight. I can put you in jail and just not feed you. And ultimately, you'll get thin. But if I let you out, what will happen? The body when you put it on a starvation diet, because they've done this, the hunger hormone goes up. It says, I missed breakfast this morning, I'm keeping track of it. And I missed lunch this afternoon, I'm keeping track of it. And sooner or later, 
you'll begin to eat if you're ever let out of that cage. And there's some data to support the fact that if you try and get into that cage yourself, that over time you'll actually get heavier. The repeated diet and binge kind of process. So I would love to give you a good answer. I do not have a good answer. Everybody and their brother, every pharmaceutical company and their brother is working on anti-ghrelin and pro-peptide YY. And I expect, just like we cured polio, that one of these days we will cure obesity as we find out more about it. But it's not in eating more protein. It's not in Nutrisystems or Weight Watchers, in my opinion. 